November 17, 1941, Operation Crusader. The Brits decided they want to boot the Jerrys out of North Africa. We're sitting on an aircraft carrier waiting while the captain is off looking for enemy encampments. Hey, pal. Better you than me on this one. I've seen enough of North Africa on the newsreels to know that I don't want any part of it. Can it, Frank. This is a one-man job. You and your mouth count as two. Here's the drill. Take off from the carrier and do a few passes to get used to the camera mounted on your bird. When you're good with that, then head inland. That's it! Good takeoff! You ain't never launched off a carrier before, have ya? <laughs> the landing's the tough part. Why don't y'all take a few circles around the ship and try that camera out? Never mind them, none. They're both just worried about you going up there with no guns and no company. Plus, the weather station on shore says they got some kind of sandstorm kicking up. I ain't never flown to one of those. Nobody with half a brain does, Joe. That's why we'll be sitting here on the carrier while our buddies are taking pictures of Rommel and his desert rats. There you go. One more and you're ready. Go get a shot of rum on the skivvies or something. Nice one, kid. According to the intel boys, Rommel set up three camps for his troops while the storm was rolling in. You get to find them and take some snapshots, so we know where to go hunt. Just remember when you're out there that you're shooting snapshots, not tracers. Don't try to be a hero. Get the recon shots and get out. Good luck and Godspeed. Woo! Where'd that all come from? Just keep it level, kid. You'll be okay. At least the Germans will be hunkered down. This could be a break. Gott in Himmel! You're getting close, kid. That sounds like one of their radio transmissions. Just follow the signal in. Base BO4 reports no problems. All is clear on their end. As clear as it can be anyway. Roger that. I cannot reach B.O. Faust through the storm. Stand by to relay instructions to them if necessary. Perhaps we need to try another frequency. This one is being interfered with by the storm. Base B.O. Cuff, do you read me? This is B.O. F. Can you hear me? Affirmative. This is B.O. Cuff. How's the weather by you? This is B.O. F. And it's bloody awful. Visibility is zero. The same here. One of the enlisted men went outside on a bed and nearly got his face cut off. They're picking sand out of his eyeballs as we speak. B. Okaf, can you hear me? Repeat, can you hear me? Damn it! Gunther, answer me if you can. Saying something? Lightning breaking up? Try again. Am I talking to myself here? B. Okaf, please answer. What is wrong? Do you require assistance? I think our antenna was blown over by the storm. It's difficult to transmit.
nothing. Huh? Why do we even bother trying to communicate in weather like this? holding up. Our deliveries keep on being interrupted by the verdammt British. All personnel are confined to quarters until the storm has passed. No exceptions. Nice work. Now come on home before they figure out that you're up there. We need planes in the air! Schnell! Schnell! Too late! Get out of there, kid! Now! Make a run for the carrier! You can do it, Captain! Just follow our voices in. Come on, what's taking you so long? I ain't playing poker with these saps without you. Losing in poker, you mean? I hate to break up the love fest, but it's looking like the captain's getting close, and he's got company. Let's go give him a hand, don't you think? Let's teach him not to mess with our guy. Take those fighters down, Yanks, yeah, before they can radio our position back. You heard the man, fellas. Let's finish this.